Sadler, um, difficult to know, Brent, where to start today because there's so much going on. But what, why don't we start with this attack on the Jabalia refugee camp? And, and an indication now is the tempo of operations increases, that potentially civilians will be increasingly in harm's way because Hamas uses them that way. No, absolutely. I've been listening to the commentary and the press briefings uh, for the last hour or so. Mm -hmm. And I think what's missing in that is that the first and foremost is that the Israeli military is going after military objectives or for military effects, not targeting civilians indiscriminately or discriminately, as Hamas has done. So the military objective seems to be clear uh, by the, the body count of Hamas warfighters that they killed in that attack, as well as taking out leadership. And I think that's the number one priority in the operational aspect of this ground incursion. Brent, can I ask you, though, what, what comes from all of this? Because there's going to be a reaction. We know that uh, we just heard from the Turkish prime minister a few days ago, very, very upset. Obviously, thousands of people protesting in that country, very upset uh, because they feel like civilians are being targeted. We know Iran is watching and waiting. Uh, we're watching Hezbollah to see if they attack next. How mm -hmm. quickly could things, these proxies, react to something like the IDF going after a target like Al Shifa Hospital? Well, I think they already are. It's not a question of if, it's, it's already happening. Uh, and I think it's probably going to continue. Uh, Hamas does have quite a good network for strategic communications and to try and win the propaganda war. So Israel has to be very cautious and losing support in the United States, I think, first and foremost, and how it goes forward. All right, Brent Sadler, great to uh, catch up with you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And thanks for hanging Thank through all the briefings, too. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most.